Hello, it's a pleasure to participate in this symposium at EBC 2020. I'm going to talk about IBUS guidance for leg main PCI. I'm going to show my disclosure. We need to optimize the most the results of PCI of the leg vein uh, for important reasons, for the prognostic relevance of this uh, lesion. And one of the key elements for doing this is the use of intravascular imaging, particularly IBUS, during the PCI procedures. IBUS guidance is going to be very helpful for to the planning of the PCI strategy, for the preparation of the plan, particularly when it's classified, for the sizing of devices, balloons, stents, and to optimize the results, paying attention to expansion, opposition, stent ages, potential deformation. Regarding the selection of the strategy, provisional or two stents, there are criteria derived from an IBUS that may help in this decision, as we can see in these slides, just uh, watching what's going on in the osteo you know, circumflex. For example, in this distal lead main lesion with a very difficult uh, evaluation by angiography, all these branches here, I will show the involvement of LED and not much of CERC. So the selected strategy was provisional with POT. But on the opposite side, we have this complex bifurcation of lesion. I will show in a large plasmid calcification in the distal lead main and Austin of both vessels, LED and CERC. In this case, a two stand technique was implemented with good results. Stain sizing is important. I suggest in this, uh, in, this exam, in this drawings, the use of the lumen, of the distal landing side lumen, usually LED, but sometimes circumflex, to size properly the stents. Uh, afterwards, after implantation, of course, we have to tailor the stain size to the lead main with the pot. In this case, with a provisional stent from LED to lead main, the landing side, distal landing side in LED is this segment here, with 3.5, 3.2 diameters, so the stand diameter is 3.5, and 24 is the length because of the IBUS examination. In this more complex distal lesion, when distal uh, landing side for LED is this point, and CERT is this one, for LED 3.7, 3.9, the selected stand is 40 diameter, and for CERT 3.2, 2.9 is 3 millimeters, the stand selected. Optimization of the stenting approach can be done in different ways, our uh, group proposed this, this has been recently published. And for example, for osteolemic shaft, we try to get uh, the target of more than 90% expansion with respect to the reference lumen. In this case, is the proximal, the distal, sorry, uh, the main reference lumen. But to accommodate this threshold according to the shape of the lead main, uh, just in those cases with a finer shape lead main, this threshold is down to 80%. Very important also to watch the position and to pay attention to the stain ages just to rule out any dissection, hematoma, or to check if the plug pardon is less than 40-50% in this uh, border segments. For provisional stain in the distal and main or two stain techniques in the distal and main, we also propose several different targets. More than 90% of proximal reference lumen for the uh, minimum stain area in the lead main. Downgrading to 80% this threshold in those lead mains that are tapered, that are really decreasing in size to the bifurcation. For the expansion in the ocean of LED and CERC, this uh, stand should be more than 90% of the reference lumen. And again, the opposition, the deformation, and the stain ages are very well evaluated. In this complex case, uh, the lead main, we have finally a good result, but we have an intermediate uh, step when I was uh, showed uh, this uh, sub expansion in the lead main, mid, mid distal lead main, 76. Uh, percent of uh, expansion, which is really a large afterwards to 97 percent. We in this case we had a full lead main coverage, a metronio carina, and more than 90 percent expansion in the lead main side, but also in LED and certain things. The recommended cut of values is a general uh, recommendation. It can for uh, can for two different studies. The first is from Korean studies uh, showing that these uh, areas are the cut of values to predict prestenosis, five, six, seven, eight respectively for CERC, osteon, LED, osteon, the POC, and the proximal lead main. It established like uh, the Excel trial conducted in Caucasian and then large uh, population, body size. The cut of values are a bit larger with six in CERC, seven in LED, and 10 in the lead main. However, this should be relative to the uh, anatomy, to the lead main uh, size, and indirectly to the, to the body size of the patient. In the optimal trial, we are right now in, in the enrolling phase. 
is an important trial randomizing patients to IBUS or angio during the PCI related name. There are several criteria with uh, respect to a position expansion, X dissection, and lesion coverage. I'm going to illustrate with these drawings the dissection, the tolerate, tolerated X dissection should be very short and less than 60 degrees in the circumference. Complete position should be all, uh, less than one millimeter in length and less than 0 0.4 millimeters in, in, in magnitude. And the optimal expansion, we have like a mandatory criteria which are corresponding to those five, six, seven, eight uh, square millimeters for the different um, uh, sites in the, in the main LED answer, or the desirable targets of more than 90% expansion with respect to the luminal area reference in the main LED answer. What about the outcomes? The first uh, study demonstrating potential benefit of IBUS guidance was this Korean paper with 145 from match matched pairs with this late benefit in, in death. From Spain, we pulled several registries in 2014 and we uh, collected finally 505 patients with IBUS that were matched with the 505 patients without IBUS. And the outcomes uh, are here and you can appreciate how IBUS uh, patients with IBUS guidance have a better outcome. Very important, the difference in uh, definite and probable thrombosis, very, very important event in this uh, location, the coronary uh, tree. The distal subgroup gets even larger benefits from the guidance, and the lead main distal uh, with two stents subgroup was particularly benefited to get benefit from uh, the IBUS guidance. The difference here is significant despite the lower numbers of cases. IBUS was an independent predictor of outcome in this study for the overall population and to larger extent in the lead main distal uh, disease and setting. IBUS makes a difference in sizing and post-dilatation. This explains why we get larger minimum staining areas and correspondingly lower events, particularly maybe respiratory This is particularly important. In our study, IBUS uh, guidance uh, provided a selection of larger stents, as we can appreciate in, in this data, but also more frequent post-dilatation, but not only more frequent, but larger, more aggressive post-dilatation with larger volumes. All the studies, basically registries, so a consistent benefit for IBUS guidance, as we can uh, really note here in this, in this meta-analysis, affecting mortality, cardiac mortality. In Excel trial, the IBUS group analysis uh, shows a significant different rate of events between the height and the low tertiles for minimum stain area. A different in death in my stroke, in all cause death, in MI and thrombosis. In the Nobel trial, also the IBUS guided group showed a trend for lower mates of five years, but a significant decrease in the more than 50% decrease in TLR of five years. In parallel with the analysis in the Excel, the comparison between upper and lower tertiles for minimum stain area revealed uh, differences in maize, nearly uh, very close to signification, but for TLR, the difference was really uh, remarkable, 12 versus zero. This very recent published uh, paper shows the results of a large race in, in UK, over 11,000 patients, and important difference in mortality related with the use of imaging that was an independent predictor and also was very important in this registry that the operator volume was uh, in parallel increasing with the benefit derived from IBIS. For our group, we have this study uh, showing how uh, they use a protocol with predefined optimization criteria that I showed in the previous slides, provides an additional benefit in prognostic terms with respect to the use of IBIS with no protocol or with respect to angiography. Then we get uh, to a class for IBIS let main stenting. If we want this to be upgraded to class one, we need a trial. That's why we are now uh, enrolled in the optimal trial with 800 patients to be randomized in Italy, UK, and, and Spain um, to be randomized to Anju or Ivis during uh, stenting of the let main. Two years uh, follow up, and really this trial will give uh, definite uh, answers to this question. My conclusions are that I was imagining for let main disease is definitely helpful. To evaluate the disease extension to osteal LED and CERT, to characterize the plaque, to assess the classification, to plan the PCA strategy, to guide the plaque operation, to size the stains, the balloons, the pot, to optimize finally the results of the procedure. This IBUS guidance uh, of the many stenting is associated to 
important prognostic benefits with respect to the use of angiography alone, particularly we are following uh, protocols and optimization criteria. My advice is get advantage from IBUS when dealing with lead main disease. Thank you.